Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This is going to be a reading where we look at what's going on for you in love at this time. What do you need to know about this person that you are dealing with or will be dealing with and what can you expect in the near future? What's the potential outcome? We're going to look at all of, all of that in this reading. As always, keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Scorpio watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. All right, so let's jump right in. Four Scorpio spirit angels, guides, messages, guidance, please. Four Scorpio regarding love at this time, spirit. What are the current energies for Scorpio in love? Current energies, please. Four Scorpio in love. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Scorpio in love energies. Scorpio in love energies. Okay. Knight of Wands. I'm not taking that because I'm going to be cutting the deck, but interesting. Knight of Wands. So things moving quickly. Passion. Motivation. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Cups. And the, wow, the Two of Cups keeps coming out for different signs. Wow, the Two of Cups with the Six of Cups. Potential soulmate energy here. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Wow, beautiful energy. Interesting. Well, the Eight of Pentacles is a energy all about effort, time. Putting time and effort into something and, you know, working hard. So it could be that you are wanting to work on a partnership or someone's wanting to work on a partnership because these are the energies for you in love. So your energies are here as well as the energies of whoever you're dealing with. Um, but the Six of Cups and Two of Cups tells me that there's something really special here, Scorpio. A special partnership. What else do we need to know, Spirit, about the energies for Scorpio in love? inner voice. What else do we need to know? For Scorpio. Judgment call. Mm. Someone's listening to their inner voice to make a decision here. To make a judgment call. Paralyzing fear. And bottom of the deck, unexpected event. Okay, so, hmm. It could be that someone knows they need to cause a tower or maybe they're expecting something unexpected. Maybe they're expecting things to be difficult. And I don't know why. We're going to have to dig deep and find out. I'm going to clarify all of these energies so that we can get some insight here. All right. So let's start with this Eight of Pentacles. Clarity, please, for Scorpio. What can you tell me about this Eight of Pentacles? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? It's interesting because I feel like someone knows what they have to do. It's just hard. It's difficult. There's fear, anxiety about having to do what you already know you have to do. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands, yep. Knight of Wands wants to show up. So someone's very motivated about getting this done, about making effort taking, you know, whatever needs to be worked on, someone's uh, motivated to do that. Tell me more about this Eight of Pentacles. Two of Scrolls. Okay, so there's that indecision. Hmm. This is very interesting. I feel like this is going to be a crazy re- <laughs> I, I just have this um, premonition. <laughs> that this is going to be a crazy reading. Okay, tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. What do we need to know for Scorpio? Justice, Libra energy. Okay, so once again, that energy of some someone that wants to make things right or they know what they have to do, what judgment call they have to make with justice. They know what they have to do. But the Three of Wands is here. Hesitation, waiting. The Two of Swords is here. Doubt, indecision. wonder why when they're so motivated you know maybe there's a block here that i just haven't seen yet tell me about the six of cups 
Why is the Six of Cups here for Scorpio? Queen of Cups. So a lot of emotions tied to the past or this um, soulmate connection. Could be dealing with a water sign as well. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or a Libra, because those are the signs that have shown up so far. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like there's potential here for something very beautiful, Scorpio. A long-term con connection, a stable connection. Something that is secure and long-lasting with the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles. So again, this idea of work and decisions with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Okay, Seven of Cups is a card about making the right choice. Out of many choices, you, tr you need to make the right one. Um, and you need to have clarity to do that to make the right choice. And the Three of Pentacles is another card about working together, building a foundation, building something. And then there's the Ace of Pentacles. So it's like something that is beginning, but it has the potential to be long lasting, secure, stable. I still feel like I'm missing something. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Cups, a special partnership. Tell me about the Two of Cups, Two of Cups. <laughs> what are the chances the Two of Cups clarify with the Two of Cups? Okay, tell me more about this Two of Cups. Okay, I wanted to fly out. Three of Cups. What else? Okay, we have the chariot. I'm not going to take these that fell here upside down, but I'm going to look at them. The hermit, Virgo energy, eight of swords. There's that fear again. Knight of cups, seven of wands, some sort of obstacle. Someone's afraid of an obstacle, but I haven't seen that obstacle yet unless that three of cups is the obstacle. I feel like someone is really in tune with how they feel, whoever this is, or you know how you feel, Scorpio about this individual. Okay, so let me organize these energies so that I can kind of... I feel like whatever is happening here, whatever the situation is, it's going to take time to um, make it happen, time to like build again time to get something like started wow the two of cups clarified by the two of cups it's like mathematically like so hard for that to be the case um but that's just that's the message the message is the message okay scorpio i'm gonna look at the romance angels deck because i want to get just a little bit actually let me do the kipper first can I get some insight, please, into this situation, this connection for Scorpio? What's going on here for Scorpio? What do we need to know, Spirit? Great fortune. Okay, so this is kind of like... This is kind of like the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. You can even look at it almost like a Wheel of Fortune energy. Bottom of the deck, Concern. Okay, so again, every time I feel like, wow, this is really good, this is great energy, there's something else that shows up that's almost like a hesitation, a fear. Ah. Can I get some more insight for Scorpio? What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Scorpio? Spirit, what do we need to know for Scorpio? Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments and give your relationship a chance at the bottom of the deck. 
So maybe this is about an existing partnership. I'm still piecing the pieces together here, Scorpio. So just bear with me. Um, because sometimes that's how the tarot works. It kind of like the more you clarify, the more questions you ask, the better of a picture that you get. And I feel like that's what this reading has become. <laughs> I feel like there is already an existing situation, um, a, a history, a past between you and this person. I think there is some sort of obstacle that I feel like I still haven't gotten really like what that is. I feel there's an obstacle ahead as well. So if there's something that's kind of like separating you and this person right now or interfering in your connection right now, there's still something more or that same obstacle will still be a barrier in the future. Because I sense that someone's already expecting something to go down. And I don't know if this is you or your person or both of you. But I feel like that's why so much work and time and effort is needed. And I think that's what someone is kind of hesitant about is like, yes, I feel like I can do all of this work and put in effort. But what if this happens? What if this, you know, let's get some insight into this person, this other person that you are dealing with or might be dealing with in the near future. Spirit, can you give us some insight for Scorpio on the person they are dealing with or will be dealing with in the future? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this person's energies? What do we need to know about this person's energies? I'm taking action. That's that Knight of Wands. What else? What else do we need to know? I'm not giving up. Yeah, that's definitely the Knight of Wands. Okay, so yes, I feel like they're not giving up even though whatever lies ahead is difficult. Okay, let me get a stellar soulmate as well. Can we get some more insight into this person's energies towards Scorpio. What do we need to know, Spirit? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Scorpio? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Oh, those fell. Okay, you are the only person for me. And everything reminds me of you. I've gotten some of these too in readings that I'm doing with this, like the whatever batch of readings this is with, I've gotten those Oracle cards for those other signs as well. I can't remember who exactly it was. Did I write one of them down? Leo. Leo was one of them that got everything reminds me of you. If you're dealing with a Leo, you might want to watch the Leo reading of this batch of readings. Yeah, bottom of the deck. I am dealing with a difficult situation. That's kind of what's missing here. I don't know exactly what that is, Scorpio. I just know it exists. I know. Very helpful. Okay, so let's get some insight into this individual. What else do we need to know about this person that Scorpio is, has, or we'll be dealing with. What else do we need to know about this other person that Scorpio is, has, or will be dealing with spirit? What do we need to know? Six of Swords, the star, Aquarius energy there. Page of Wands, again with the Wands energy, someone that wants to take initiative, wants to take action. And the Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's feelings here. And it wouldn't, it doesn't surprise me. Two of Cups has shown up twice. Um, I feel like this person is holding on to hope. 
because I feel a departure is needed. I feel like that's what is happening here, that someone knows that they need to leave something behind. For others of you, I'm getting that this person could have left this connection in the past, but it, they still have hope that they can heal it with the Knight of Cups, the Star, and the Page of Wands. So let's get some insight here. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here, Spirit? The Nine of Wands. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? The Four of Pentacles. Okay. Once again, there's that barrier. And then the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I'm starting to get irritated. <laughs> um... Okay, so the Nine of Wands is kind of someone that's been through a lot. They're dealing, this is the person that's dealing with a difficult situation. They are dealing with um, the aftermath of something difficult or just have been really bogged down, hurt, affected by what's happened. So now they are protecting themselves, wary. They don't trust others. And then the Four of Pentacles is someone that holds back. So again, I feel like your person, it's almost like they're holding back here. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Queen of Cups, again, you know, emotions, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy there. Tell me about the Six of Swords. I want one more. Why is the Six of Swords here? The Ten of Swords, yeah. I think this person, they know what they have to do. Yeah, Four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. They know that this ending is necessary. They have to end something in their life, whether it's a connection, um, a job, a way of handling situations, a habit, an addiction, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, fill in the blank. Influences that are affecting them, like other friends family members, etc., etc. Fill in the blank. Something has to end. And this person, I think that they've already been through so much that to have to go through World War II is like too much right now. Because I see them, yeah, there's the tower right after the Four of Swords. I see them kind of wanting to rest, gather themselves, slow down, <laughs> very wary, very tired. And I think also emotionally checked out. And so it's like, I don't know if I have it in me to have another tower or to have another blow up in my life. I just don't know if I have it in me. And of course you can flip that energy um, if that's how you feel, Scorpio, if that's what you're dealing with because the energies can be reversed here. Tell me about this star. And don't get me wrong, this this isn't like I think they still care about you despite this difficulty tell me about this star why is this star here the sun wow I feel like this one has hope um, this is a symbol or rep is representing someone's hope for happiness and success. Tell me more about the star. Why is the star here? Yeah, Ace of Cups. I have hope that I will have the person that I love, that I will have a new beginning in love, a fulfilling love, etc., etc. I also feel like this hope is very, like, it's tied to emotional um, there's an emotional tie here that a bond that you have with this person that's why the two of cups is here and that makes things a little bit harder I feel tell me about the page of wands tell me about the page of wands yeah, Ten of Cups. I mean, this is someone's, like, wish. The Sun, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Wands. The 
Five of Pentacles. I heard insecurity. There's an insecurity here that this person has. Maybe they're not sure of success. Maybe they are needing something right now. Maybe they're struggling financially. Maybe they have career struggles or just, you know, there's a struggle. I feel like this person is struggling no matter where they go. No matter who they deal with, there's an, an issue there. This could also be that someone wants this very desperately. The Sun, the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, but they're outside in the cold. They don't have they don't have um they don't have this right now. Maybe it seems like a far fetched dream, like you know, a fantasy. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Two of Swords. Hmm. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? The Moon. Yeah, Doubts. Pisces Energy. And there's the Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This person is conflicted. They are doubtful of what they don't know. Doubtful of you know, this being too good to be true, or there being illusions, or them imagining things, their imagination running away with them. Maybe they don't know how you feel. They know how they feel, but they don't know how you feel. Or they don't know if they have it in them to deal with what it would take to be with you. Can I get one more energy, please, for this Knight of Cups? Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Yeah, the Fool. This person is afraid of the new, which tells me that you and them, I don't know, it's, it's like they're afraid to break free. They're afraid of taking this risk, of trying something new, of having a new beginning. And that kind of is what, it makes me wonder, why would they think that if they're with you, which tells me they're not with you? I don't know how to explain that in a way that makes sense. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I don't know why they would be so fearful to start something with you if they were already with you. Does that make sense? Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Basically, what I'm thinking and seeing here is that this person is conflicted because to make something happen, the magician, the fool, which I feel is this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, this is what they want. To get what they want, they have to take action. And the action is this Ten of Swords. That's what I'm picking up so far, this Six of Swords. So let's see where all of this is headed in the near future. Let me move these to the side here so I can have more room. What can Scorpio expect in the near future spirit? What can Scorpio expect in the near future? What can Scorpio expect in the near future? What can Scorpio expect in the near future? Two of Wands. The Hermit, Virgo Energy. What can Scorpio expect in the near future? The Hangman, okay, Scorpio, my goodness. There's a Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, again. Scorpio, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Does not have to be. I think this person is a chicken. That's the nicest way I could put it. I, I'm literally picturing someone retreating into a shell. I don't see action here, especially with the hangman. Maybe they're seeing things differently. Maybe that will allow them to uh, choose a different path with the two of wands. That would be awesome if that was the case. Let me use a different deck here. Let me clarify these. And I just don't understand this person. I feel like maybe I'm still missing something. Because how are you going to tell me that you're going to take action and you're not going to give up? That they're dealing with a difficult situation. That they know what they have to do because they already are aware of it. It's in their peripheral. So if you already know that, that action is required, why the hesitation? Why the fear? Why so much fear? 
Tell me about the Two of Wands. Two of Wands is typically a card about two very different paths and having to choose one. The King of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? Why is the Two of Wands here? Oh my gosh, I'm running out of time. Page of Swords. Oh, so they're deciding whether to even open this conversation and send you a message. Tell me about the Hermit. Tell me about the Hermit. Nine of Cups. I think in their mind, they're visualizing what they want, what their wish is, what their wish granted would look like. Yeah, Seven of Wands. They're, uh, they're picturing an obstacle. There's something they would have to fight for when it comes to you, Scorpio. Yeah, there's the Page of Cups. Tell me about the Hangman. So I feel like this person, for some of you, they haven't even told you how they feel. Yeah, Five of Cups with the Hangman. So it's like they're wallowing in self-pity, like they're feeling bad for themselves or regretting the past, but you know, are you gonna do something about that? Eight of Cups, yeah. I feel like they already know. There's a Knight of Cups for the third time. I think this person already knows what they have to do. They just haven't done it or they're too scared to do it. There's a King of Cups again. Again, it's not that they don't care about you. I don't think that's the problem. I think that this difficult situation has worn this person down, to be honest. And let me know if you know what that situation is in the comments, just in case. I mean, you don't have to go into details, but I'm curious because I feel like whoever this is, this obstacle is so great. And I feel like they talk themselves out of what they have to do. Um, so I'm going to extend this. I, from now on, starting with these batches of readings, I'm only extending videos that I feel like need it, or I can really dive into um, getting some clarity for you in the extent. So that's why they're much longer. Um, so in this extended, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what the heck is your person's intentions? Um, what is, you know, I know they have big dreams with you and what's this obstacle? What can we know about this obstacle? Is it insurmountable? Is it an obstacle that your person will be burdened by, bogged down by? Will they ever be able to accomplish something to do with this obstacle? I really want to nail that down because at this time, I feel like they're not giving up great, but their energy is not showing that it's like maybe they're saying it or thinking it to themselves maybe they're trying to like i don't know gather courage but when it comes time to actually do something i don't see them doing it and, and you know and i feel like a lot of this has to do with the fact that they haven't even told you exactly how they feel about this or what they really plan to do it's like almost like they're trying to gather the courage just to do that 